Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first unboxing of one of the box lots that we won at the auction last week. Um, so I will be doing the other box lot in a separate video sometime um, later. I don't want to like bombard everyone with <laughs> the box lot unboxing videos, um, but I am going to go downstairs with the camera and kind of face it down into the box so you guys can get a better look-see into what I'm seeing and digging out and it's going to be like a fun little treasure hunt. So let's go through the box. So we are ready to go through this box. I hope this setup is okay. I'm down in my dining room table with my camera on a tripod so we're just going to go with this and see how it all works out. Uh, but I just want to make mention this box lot, I did end up paying $8 for it. And the main reason that I was interested in this particular box lot was there is a bunch of perfumes here on the top. So while I'm there and looking through box lots, I obviously like don't go looking through the entire thing. I kind of just get a glance of you know, what's inside. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can sit there and dig through it if you really want to, no one's gonna stop you, but I just wanted this box specifically for the perfume. But obviously, as you can see, there's more to it than that. So let's just start pulling stuff out. Um, I did wanna start with the perfume first since that's what I'm most interested in, but since there is some like breakable stuff on top, um, I am gonna get that out first. The first thing is this vase here. It does look like it might be hand painted and I do notice a signature down here. I'm not sure if this was just kind of, you know, someone themselves hand painted it or whatnot. So if anyone would recognize this in any way, shape or form, just comment down below. Otherwise that probably will go into like the donation pile. Um, I'm not sure if I'll list that or not. Uh, the next thing is this little guy here. This is one of those like miniature um, pitchers and like the little bowls. You'd fill this with water and then wash up with it. It looks like it's by Redcliffe Ironstone. So I'm not sure if that has any kind of particular value, but we'll look it up. Okay, so let's try to pick up this woody 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 woo. All right, so you can see oh, all this goodness in here. So I'm gonna try to go through this box um, as quickly as possible. This might be a longer vid, um, just, just warning ya. So the first things that I noticed in the box were some Chanel perfumes. So this one right here is just the classic Chanel number no. five. I can't tell how much is in here. If anyone has an idea of how exactly to tell, um, let me check the window here. Yeah, I can't see through it. So if there's any like tips or tricks to find out how full one of these Chanel bottles is, let me know. Um, and yes, there was also this Chanel, which is the Eau, Eau de Cologne. And that is pretty full, very dusty, however. I do have to clean these off, but can't go wrong um, with some Chanel perfume. This whole entire box here is filled with small uh, sample sized perfumes, like right here is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Some of them have been used a bit. This one's called Zigzag. We have a something sport. Well, that's um, Paco Rabone. Let me sit these down. Um, these two here are definitely an Estee Lauder. I'm not quite sure what that fragrance is, but I'm sure it says on the bottom. Here's a little mini Chanel number 19. Ooh, so there's not a whole lot left in there, but. I plan on selling the miniature perfumes, if not separately. Um, miniature perfumes, they really do sell well. People do collect them, so don't just glance over the miniature perfumes. Oh, this one's um, Dior Poison. So I'm gonna look them up first to find out if they are worth 
Oh, this one's a Chopard. Um, if they're worth selling individually, if not, I will list them up as a big lot, essentially. <laughs> There's some random things in here. We have an old Halloween pick that looks like it would have went on a cupcake. Um, this just looks like a little, I'm trying not to have my big old hand stuck in the frame. Um, just a little ornament of some sort. Not quite sure what this guy is. Looks like it might be a little decorative piece to, I don't know, like a little village or something. I'm unsure about that. And uh, let's see, this is called Perfume Intimate. We got another, oh, that's another Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This one, not quite sure what that says. I'm trying to read through the, the camera lens, which isn't the, the easiest thing to do in the world. This looks empty. Night Magic, that looks like Avon. It's a really pretty bottle though. Okay, there's a couple more in here. I'm not quite sure what all of them are. Attraction, that's Lancome, Attraction. Look at this, oh my gosh, it's a little frying pan of dippy eggs. That's cute, probably like an old Barbie accessory. That looks just like it's trash. A button of some sort. What's that say? It says American Disabled Veteran. It is a little like pin button. And this is Van Cleef and the Otter Pels. So a lot of nice little miniature perfumes. Uh, this is just a white diamonds body lotion. White diamonds really isn't anything. Um, spectacular as far as like reselling. Same with these. These are both white diamonds perfumes. So, I mean, I may just like try to sell those a little lot. I don't know if it's really worth much there. I'm just gonna grab a handful here. Uh, this is a Nina Ricci. And then a little bottle of Calvin Klein Obsession. Oh, we got a men's cologne. This is Bajos, Bajos, the man's cologne. It almost looks like a brute bottle, but it's not. Um, but still really full there. This is called Laura Biagotti Venezia. It's just a sample. But it's like a bigger sample. And then this, that's a pretty pretty bottle. I'm not sure who this is made by. If anyone recognizes that bottle, let me know. Let's open this guy. See what the bottle looks like. Ooh, that's a really pretty bottle. And I apologize. My hands are probably very, very dry. I work around chemicals, so I'm constantly washing my hands. There's another white diamonds lotion, a Cartier sample. I'm sorry, I do like to look at the bottles though. I'm a sucker, sucker for bottles. Ooh, it's really pretty right there. I like the fact too that it's in its original box as well. Okay, ooh, <laughs> what do you know? I did get a bottle of the Royal Secret Perfume. I was outbid on the trays that had the Royal Secret Perfume, but I actually got a little bottle, and this is bath perfume, so bath oil, ooh. This here is a little Lauren, Ralph Lauren, there's really not much to it. Oh, and check that out, a little miniature Fendi. It smells like straight up perfume in here, it smells amazing. This, check it out, I got another Royal Secret bath perfume, awesome. Little bottle of Charlie. There's really nothing left in that. Um, this one's called Heaven Scent by Helen Rubenstein. Not a whole lot left. My hands feel so dusty. Okay, okay. Let's see. This looks like. Oh, goodness gracious. There's nothing 
on it, so I'm not sure. But in all honesty, this reminds me of a White Shoulders perfume bottle. Not quite certain. And this one here, what does that say? This one's just Elizabeth Taylor. And this guy here is, ooh, a Lanvin. That's nice. Unfortunately, it's empty. I don't think there's like even a drop in there. That's upsetting. Okie dokes. Got another Charlie. That one is full. I don't think they're really worth anything. This one is Interlude by Francis Denny. Francis Denny. Here we got some earplugs. And I do believe, yep, 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 we got another Royal Secret Bath Perfume. I'll probably put all of those together in a lot. Okay, we are getting there as far as our box goes. We have a tiny little bouquet of fruits. I have no idea what some of this stuff is. Uh, this guy here is Vanilla Musk by Cody. This is another Charlie. Hello, buddy. Um, this here is a Royal Secret as well. Someone really liked the Royal Secret. Okay, this bottle here, I want to say, is Victoria's Secret. I feel like it is, because I feel like I've sold that perfume before. Um, interlude is what that one's called. Oh, here's another Interlude. See it off to the side here. Eau, Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior. I feel like... Wasn't, okay, so this was always out. I feel like Johnny Depp just did a campaign for this cologne, so I assumed it was new, but I guess not. I guess it's been out for a while. Maybe they just redid a campaign for it. This is Casherol Anace Anace. Um, I have sold this perfume before in the past. Oh, that is a beautiful bottle. It's empty, but that is gorgeous. This is Y by YSL. Oh, check this out. Let me set this bottle down. This thing is heavy as crap. What is it? This is some sort of uh, perfume atomizer. The packaging is really heavy. This is super well made. I'm not entirely sure what perfume it is. It just says Perfumes International Limited and then Purse Spray here on the bottom. So I'll have to research that a little more, but my goodness, that's gorgeous. This is just a little drawstring baggie, a cap, just something or other. Um, these bottles appear to be empty. That almost looks like an Avon, like wild country or something. And um, this is called Chow. Some more ear buds. I don't really have a use for them. Oh goodness, there is still more stuff in here. Okay, so we have another Cartier. This one is not in a box. This here looks like a roller ball of, guess what, Royal Secret. I'm really excited about those because that perfume is very, very expensive. Um, this one is called Incognito. And this one is called Petal Mist. Petal Mist. Alright, and then on the bottom of the box was just these like crafty bits, little wooden clothespin. No idea what this thing is. 
This is a letter S. Looks like a scrabble tile of some sort. Oh, look at this little koala pin. Oh my gosh, that is precious. I absolutely love that. It's fuzzy. And then these two little flower bits. So some of these things I'm going to add to... I just dropped the clothespin. I'm going to add to like a junk drawer a lot. So that's where, where some of this little stuff will go to. Um, down in here further into the box. Let me try to move just slightly a little bit closer here. Um, there is some perfume samples on vials. This is Calvin Klein Obsession. We got Tresor, Bellaria, I believe that's Mary Kay, and then a Euphoria Calvin Klein. We got some napkins. These are brand new in the package. Merry Christmas napkins. They're definitely older. You can tell by like the price tag. Um, some vintage napkins can be worth money. I have sold, I've sold napkins on eBay before, so I'll have to look them up. Here's another Calvin Klein Obsession perfume sample. My goodness, that's such a nice perfume sample. This part's like kind of plasticky. Okay, we got a bit of a box. Oh gosh, it has a Macy's price tag in here, or receipt I should say. I bet whatever was in here is not in this box, but one could hope. I'm just trying to look for a price. Just as a gift for you. It's just a gift receipt. And it's half of an empty box. Uh, these are little mini funnels. How adorable are they? What could I use miniature funnels for? Oh gosh, duh, Michelle. Perfume. These would be great for putting perfume into like little purse atomizers like these guys here. Just put one of these in there and then dump your perfume into your purse atomizer. That's what I can use it for. This. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just... Oh, I love little miniature things. Look at this little wood miniature. Oh, it is so cute. It's like a little, little tiny rabbit by a flower. Oh, it's marked Japan. Would you look at that? That is so stinking cute. Love that. This just looks like <laughs> a lid to something. You know what? I think this belongs on this lid, but what is it? What does it do? I don't know. Maybe we'll find the other part in here. Hopefully no bugs though. These are some golden wedding anniversary. Oh my gosh, how cute. Vernon and Hilda Spence, March 19th, 1988. Oh, that is so precious. I would feel so bad just throwing these away. Um, I don't know if anyone who does like scrapbooking or anything like that would potentially like using something like that in in a craft. I'm not sure. I would just feel so bad throwing them away. These here are also napkins. They're happy birthday napkins of an old antique car. Oh, I like that little hot air balloon. The whole print around here is really cool. They have been opened, but you know, obviously never used. Okay. Oh, these are always nice. These little rubber discs to help um, grip lids to get open. You can tell this one's old. Check out the print on that. That's really cool. Central Pen Auto Club. Here's some more napkins. Luncheon napkins. Okay. Oh, here's another one of the grippy things. I do have a couple of these. And some more napkins. These have a Christmas wreath on them. This here is just a purple velvet drawstring bag. Is this, what is this thing? Is this to kind of protect grease from flying up out of the pan? I am unsure, you guys. I don't own something like this, so I mean, I feel stupid for not knowing what it is, but I honestly don't know what that is. Um, this here just looks 
like a little something to like maybe put a plant on. Oh, we found a Excelsior flag. Um, this is, oh, this is so cool. It says, celebrate the holidays with sparkling wines, the Olive Garden little coaster. But I like how it looks. Like, it has a vintage style look to it. I dig that. Um, how to open a butterfly clasp? Berkshire, new ways to wear scarves. Complimentary with scarf purchase. Here you got the classic knot. Accordion bow, don't see that anymore. The neck wrap, the bib, the ascot wrap, pleated drape, a slip knot. I love slip knot actually. A fake bow, the bow, scarf belts, flower knot, shawls and coat wraps. That actually might come in handy. Find out different ways to wear my scarves. The moving book, a your personal guide to a more organized move. Oh, that is actually kind of cool and potentially helpful. Um, Eric and I have lived here. This was our first house together. We've been here, I'd say about nine years or so, um, but we would like to move sometime in the near future. So that might come in handy. Here's an old baggie of hardware. It's just all sorts of little things in there. Some screws and some bolts. So I'll see if Eric wants those. I doubt it, but we'll check with him. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, they're broken. Little pair of scissors, but they're broke. This here looks like a strap to probably, my guess, yeah, luggage, American Flyer. And then there's some, some ribbon. I'm totally untangling from its uh, spool there. So yeah, like I said, the main reason I wanted this box was the perfume. The rest of it, as of now, I'm not really seeing anything too, too interesting. I don't know what this is. Oh, look, it has a hook. What would you hang on this? Is this for belts? Possibly? Ties? I'm unsure. But they have little, like, areas. Definitely to store something. There are some bowls in here. Oh. Just to like strain something. They're by wherever stainless steel. I'll probably, in all honesty, these bowls and like these pans. I see a bunch of pots, um, saucepans. These here, I will more than likely um, check with my aunt and uncle to see if my uncle wants them. They have a cabin in the woods and I don't know. I'm sure they have plenty of, of cookware, but just in case, I'm going to check with them before I donate them just to see if they would happen to want any of it. Um, here's some more vintage napkins. I love these. They say Happy Halloween. I like this little monster peeking out the back there. And a bat. And then these ones are Christmassy with the little candy canes. They're a little smaller by Contempo person loved their napkins. Alright, what's this? This says Reed and Barton Mayflower. It's a little dish tray of some sort. It's very heavy. I'll have to check that out. It needs polished, definitely. Oh, check it out. I found a cologne down here. Tabac Original. That's an interesting name for a cologne. Jacqueline Cochran, Contemporary Fragrance Group. Definitely feels full. Oh, I found a cake server down in here. Happy Honeymoon, Holland, Holland America Cruises. Aw, so the couple must have went on a cruise for their honeymoon and got a little 
cake server. That's so precious. It makes me so sad going through stuff like this. Oh hey, I found the lid to the Macy's box. Still not quite sure what was in it, if it's in this box or not. Um, just a random paper tag, that's trash. Um, we got a plastic bowl with a coaster in. It's definitely from a hotel. I think that's the Ramada. Yeah, Ramada Renaissance Hotel. That's leather, that's nice. No wonder they took it. Um, a clothespin. Little wooden ball. Little pink uh, ribbon. Some, I don't know, I think, are those curtain rod? So like for curtain rods, I believe. And a little tiny doll. This looks so familiar, but I'm not quite sure what it is or where it's from. We got another scarf tying guide. Oh, I love the illustrations in that one. Oh, a scarf skirt. Got a perfume of Secret Obsession sample. Some ribbon. Pink and red. Oh, check it out. Somebody, somebody was getting some Mardi Gras beads down in Carrollton. Oh yeah, they were really busy with getting some beads. Here's some more silver ones. And another one. Oh. Found a little Garfield in his safari outfit. Looks like he used to sit on something. Another perfume sample, Lancome Attraction. Hosted, Holstead Jewelers. Nothing in it. There's a little, oh, this is probably what, what, what was in the Macy's box. A little pillow pad for some jewelry, which I haven't come across the jewelry yet. They probably took the jewelry out. Another Lancome Magnifique, Elizabeth Taylor Black Pearls. A horseshoe, Colonial Shoe House, 10 Carlisle Street. That is no longer there, so this is definitely older. Um, here we have just the littlest tiny sprig of... Can I focus this? But you see how they have a little bit of yarn wrapped around them? That's really cute. It makes me wonder if, like these held some sort of significance for someone. So that's like why maybe they kept them and tied a little ribbon around. That would be so sweet. I don't recognize this logo offhand, but it's a nice thick <laughs> ashtray, go figure. <laughs> so if anyone recognizes that logo, let me know. Um, I could probably sell that potentially. <laughs> oh, there's a bug. Oh, excuse me, excuse my language, there's a bug. <laughs> sure it's dead by now. It looks like a stink bug. Um, I apologize for that freak out, guys. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry I cursed. I don't, I don't like to, but I don't like bugs. So, yeah. Um, let's just keep going. I will try to not flip out as badly as I just did there. Whew, buddy. Okay, next we got Glenn, Glenn Simpson, general contractor. Oh, Neat. Oh, that is so cool. So this would be like a little vintage um, hair kind of set. Uh, this looks like a little rain bonnet to wear over your hairdo when it rains. And then it also comes with a little comb as well. So that's a cute little vintage find. This is just a little tray. It says made in China. Feels like plasticky. I'm being a little more particular about uh, reaching my hand in here because <laughs> I don't want to pick up a bug. These are clip sticks. Um, they're just clip-on earrings, so you could like put your own uh, piece of whatever to make your own earrings, essentially. Then this here, oh, I actually found um, something by this brand. 
at a yard sale. This coats. They made uh, these um, perf or not perfume, uh, beauty sponge kind of uh, cotton rounds. Yeah, here we go. The essential cosmetic accessory. So these are definitely older. Oh, that's so cool. I love finding vintage beauty items just because it's something I love so much. All right, we got another one of these coasters and then a PSB leather coaster. This here is just a little plastic Christmas tree ornament. And then this says, your key to a castle in Spain. Oh, I wish. Return postage guaranteed. Meriden Motor Inn. Fram Framingham, Massachusetts. Huh, cool. So they must have kept that when they went and stayed there before. Oh, gosh, guys, I don't want to, like, reach into the part of the box where that dead stink bug is. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got a just little round picture frame made in China. Let's just work our way over here. Oh, this is a really cute um, bag. I like that. Put a little jewelry in there. Looks like we found another horseshoe. This one's easy from the Easy Spirit store. You don't see them around anymore. Here is a Dreaming by Tommy Hilfiger perfume sample. Little gold bow. There are two, and I just see these two, at least for now anyway. Little mini. Oh, they're marked Japan. Well, this is anyway. Um, miniature tea set. Or pitcher, I should say. There's only one of them. This is a little pen. Actually, no, I think that's a pencil. What's that say? It says made made in USA. Just a mini mini pencil. This is Avon Floral Medley Candle. Oh. I still smell it. it still has a scent. Okay, so here's the bug. Is it moving or am I just like shaking so it looks like it's moving? But anyway. Oh god, it's still moving! It's still moving! It's still alive! Don't those things ever die? Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! You guys are witnessing my absolute terrifiedness of bugs. I don't know why I'm scared of them. It's not like he's going to hurt me, but I'm scared. Let me get over to the other side. I'm going to take this box outside after I'm done because I'm not killing it. I do not kill bugs. Uh, but anyway, here's another mighty grip thing. Please tell me they don't fly. I mean, I'm assuming they fly. Please don't fly up out of this box. I will die. I will die. I will die so hard. Okay, so next we have this scraper from Chevrolet. I mean, I'm guessing that's what that is. Just like a little scraper. Scrape like some ice off your car. It looks like just one swipe of some ice and that handle will just break right off. We got some more leather coasters. Agency Rent-A-Car, Allegheny Commuter, and another Agency Rent-A-Car. Here is a perfume, perfume sample of Journey. We also got a stamp that says, for deposit only, top care janitorial services. The other part of the little mini scissors is in here, but I ain't picking that up because it's right around the bug. Right around the bug. We got a, we got a button. We got a button and a stink bug. That's what we have. 
that stink bug probably thinks I'm nuts, which I am. There's a bunch of these in the bottom. I guess they're like shower curtains. Uh, this is an empty perfume. I feel like I'm shaking because of this freaking book. Um, some ribbon, which it seems like a lot of the, the polka dots are rubbed off of it. This is absolutely precious. It is a little basket, but it looks like it's made out of a nut of some sort. But it's like a little basket. That is so precious. I was kind of afraid to pick it up because I thought it was a bug. I'm like freaked out by this whole bug situation now. Um, this is a little pin. The American flag. There's also um, clothes pins down here, a bunch of just wooden clothes pins. And, oh, I think I see another. Yeah. Got another perf. Wait, no, this isn't perfume. What is this? I guess it belonged to a watch of some sort, just a booklet. And this thing. Ooh. Is it like an ornament? I guess. Maybe? I don't see the stink bug anymore. Did it fly away? Please don't fly away till I get you outside. Okay, now he's still in there. All right, well, essentially the box is pretty well empty aside from the clothes pins, that piece of the mini scissors, as well as the uh, stink bug. Um, so I'm gonna take this box outside so the stink bug can fly away and find a home outside other than in my house. Uh, but that is everything for what was in this first box that I paid $8 for. You guys had to let me know what you thought down below. Um, if you thought it was worth $8, I feel like I will make my money back. Um, Definitely more than eight dollars with the perfume, which is what I wanted it for um, And then there was some other stuff that I'll probably just like Throw into like a junk drawer a lot like I said and then some stuff that I think can just be thrown away um, And then some things that I'll just look um, to see if my aunt or uncle would be interested in. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down below and keep your eyes peeled for box lot number two. So I have everything laid out on my table in two different groupings. So this first grouping here is just essentially all of the perfumes and things that I am going to uh, try to sell. I have to look up stuff and, you know, see what things are worth as far as whether or not I'm listing them in lots or by themselves. Um, I did look this up real quick. This might actually be worth a little something, this Red Cliff Ironstone. Um, I still have to figure out uh, what logo that is. Um, sometimes vintage advertising pieces are worth something, especially if the places don't exist anymore. So if that motel is no longer in existence, it might hold um, a little bit of value. I'll have to find out. And this actually held a gravy boat on it. Um, I did a little bit of research. So this right here isn't really worth much of anything. So I'll probably put that in the donate pile. And I'm just, I don't know. I, there's something about this guy here that I absolutely love. So I might try to sell him individually just because he's so cute. Um, and same with uh, the little koala pin. He's just so adorable. So I kind of kept him on this separate pile. Then I have these things over here. I'm gonna see if like my aunt or uncle want any of those things. I need to figure out what that is still. Um, same with this thing. I don't know if they want that. Um, maybe try and figure out uh, the maker of this vase. Um, see if these napkins are worth listing at all. Uh, but this pile here is probably gonna be stuff that I will um, possibly put in like a junk drawer lot. Um, so we'll see how, how that goes. Hopefully going over like the next box that I go through, I'll be able to like add to that. 
Um, this thing back here, I'm probably just going to donate. Same with this thing, unless I figure out what exactly <laughs> it's used for, and maybe I could potentially use it for stuff that I'm listing. Um, this I'll probably keep for myself. Uh, and I might actually keep a couple of these just because they might come in handy. And then over here is just absolute trash in my opinion, not anything that I want and not anything I think anyone else would want. These perfumes are empty, um, just random bits of ribbon and that luggage strap and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, that's everything as far as that goes, so stay tuned for the um, second unboxing, and I hope you guys enjoyed.